everybody, this is Lizzie Bunny 99 aka Elizabeth Dawson here. Um, welcome back for another video. And today I am going to a wasset of this guy. You, you get it. This dude. No, it's R. He called himself a gamer. I'm so sorry. I don't say. So I'm the word way, right? so keep in mind if you watch it, this. So thank you to respond my email that I however thank you very much. Now I going to see how my last it. Now my choice is with go with granny. So let's get go. Sorry, it might be well. Hold on. Granny is the titular supernatural antagonist of the games with the same name, which have a deep yet ambiguous story involving other supernatural entities, such as Grandpa, Angeline, Slenderman, Slenderina, Slenderina's oh. husband, <laughs> and the child, presumably being inspired by a mix of legends and myths. As the story is hugely left open for interpretation, that's what we're gonna do today. Hi folks, I'm R, your narrator. This video will contain spoilers about all of the installments of the Slenderina, Slenderman. He only says spoiler, so you gotta listen to him. But R, you're doing an awesome job. I enjoy your, I enjoy listening your video like a lot. So you do great. And Granny series. With that in mind, let's begin. So yeah, um, one more thing. If you're scared of um, video games, it not would be. Yeah, no, I have to talk about. Let's continue to watch it. Granny is an entity which is proven to be of supernatural nature due to her glowing red eyes and immunity to gunshots. She traps people in her house and cellar, including cells. I forgot to uh, start my timer. <laughs> Sorry. Presumably, usually men. Due to a personal vendetta she still holds, which we will talk about later in the video. In the first Ooh. game, several writings and a note on a scrap piece of paper informed the player that he isn't Granny's first victim. In fact, there have been many more people she had trapped and killed. One of her ways of killing... I agree with you, R. That's why you said, in my good positive opinion, I agree with you, man. Being the guillotine, she sketched and designed, presumably by herself. In the second one, the trend continues with another person waking up in the cellar. Yet another victim of Granny. Except in this one, Granny is accompanied by another vicious accomplice called Grandpa. The third installment starts a little different with the protagonist entering the premises on his well. Upon getting caught by the Grandpa, he gets shot and taken to the cellar cell, where he finds remains of some other victims in different cells. Indeed. Who is Granny and her malevolent family members? Let's start from the beginning and discuss Granny's story. Let's start with the first installment in the series, Granny 1. The player wakes up in a room. Upon further inspection of the house, he comes across the Granny, a white-eyed, grotesque old woman in a white nightgown and patchy white hair. She wields a bloodied bat 
and has blood on her mouth, giving us a clue of how she attacks and kills her victims. After shooting Andy. Granny by finding disassembled parts of a shotgun and assembling the gun, we learn that Granny is immune to bullets, and possibly she's immortal, being immune to death. This can be further fortified by a diary we find in one of Slenderina's installments, yep. which is written in 1892, suggesting that Granny is a... Okay, uh, the time in the year is probably like take way to um, Victoria era. I... So... But, R, you do a good job uh, with the date and the game. Your awesome job, dude. Way to go. She's extremely old. The blood on her mouth suggests that she bites or even eats parts of her victims. Maybe not oh her my. preferable way of killing them, Ooh. as she has hand-designed a guillotine and likes to imprison her victims to death, as seen in the third installment. Same Nonetheless, like... she still bites and possibly even eats her victims. Hence why she has been thought of... She looks like a freaking zombie, but she Sharing do. resemblance to zombies. Investigating further, the player finds a mysterious crib with no baby in it, or anywhere near to find. After collecting a teddy bear and placing it inside the crib, a ghost of a woman known as Slenderina shows up, leaving a key. Okay, uh, you know the character in uh, Slenderina? I'm sorry, I don't say it right. Uh, I'm sorry. It looked familiar to you all, so. Key behind and disappearing. Exploring a bit more, we can find a woman shackled to a wall and presumably dead. We later find out this victim is called Angeline, the daughter of Granny. Therefore, it becomes evident that a tragedy has taken place here, causing the death of two women, Angeline and Slenderina, a possible child, and maybe even Granny herself, who is now hostile and seeks for blood. In myths and legends, an entity known as the White Lady in a white dress and long black hair is well known in many different countries. In one tale originating from Netherlands, there's an evil spirit of a woman who imprisons men who had been mistreating women and abusing them. This evil spirit punishes them for a while and eventually kills them to deliver a swift justice. Although the story is not identical to Granny's, it bears close resemblance. Granny seems to be mm -hmm. a malevolent presence who lures men or drags them into her house. She gives them five days of mentally and physically tormenting them before she kills them. She also had chained up her daughter, Angeline, to a wall, causing her death. Now, why would Granny kill her own daughter? In the Child I'm of Slenderina's too. ending, we find a diary that tells us the backstory on how Slenderina and her father died. The Slenderman. July. Great, or that. <laughs> July tenth, eighteen ninety-two. Dear diary, it has been a good day today. But I'm starting to feel dizzy and nauseous now. The whole family went to the park and the weather was wonderful. Mother was in an extra good mood, which doesn't happen that often. Mm. When we came home, she cooked us dinner. I thought it tasted a bit weird, but didn't dare to say anything. Father looked pale and had to lie down straight after dinner. I can hear him in the other room. The pain! I'm feeling even worse now. My head is spinning. Uh-oh. Therefore, we learn that Angeline, Slenderina's mother, and the granny's daughter was the culprit behind Slenderina's and Simon, oh or Slenderman's, death. Mm. 
What? This probably angered Granny very much, making her shackle Angeline to a wall and let her rot. The reason why Angeline kills her husband and daughter are left to interpretation, one of which might be due to Angeline's unstable mental health, as we see a portrait of her in the asylum alongside Slenderina, which could be suggestive of her being admitted to the surreal asylum and giving birth to Slenderina in there, as we also can find a baby on a table. There are several other theories, one common one suggesting that this child belongs to a Slenderina, but I still believe it's Slenderina herself, as it bears no resemblance to the child, mm. and this one looks almost identical to Slenderina. Therefore, we get a glimpse of how broken and unhealthy this family is. There's another folklore about an evil, vengeful mm. spirit of a woman who lures unfaithful men into her house and kills them. This entity used to be a woman who was cheated on by her husband. In sorrow and despair due to her partner's infidelity, she kills her child and herself. She then arises as a hostile spirit, desperately trying to find her child while killing anyone in her way. Yet another one is of a woman who loses her child and eventually dies due to a heart attack or extreme sorrow. Then she arises yet again as a spiteful spirit, trying to find her child, killing anyone in her way. These stories can compare to Slenderina's, as when the player places the teddy bear in the crib Slenderina's soul appears and then goes away leaving a key behind, presumably becoming satisfied as the teddy bear might have belonged to her child and embodies the essence of her child. Wow. Granny also becomes angry and gets glowing red eyes after the teddy bear is taken, showing that Granny cared about Slenderina and her child very much. Hence why she be- Okay, okay, sorry, um... I agree with R that Free said. Um, it's okay you have your own theories and your own way, but I really, really enjoy your opinion, R, but you're doing great. She becomes very angry and shackled up Angeline. Oh my getting back to Granny and the first game, the player finds several writings on the walls and items begging for help. After a thorough investigation, the player finds a note from the previous victim and how he got cut. This is my fifth day in this house. She chases me wherever I go. I'm quite injured. <laughs> and my body hurts. The only thing... Let me turn that down. house is that I was driving when my car suddenly broke down. I went out to see what the problem was when someone suddenly hit me in the head. I have managed to open a pair of locks in the front door, but that's all. Why does she do this? I hope no one will experience the same thing as I do. If I do not survive this, and if someone finds this message, I have noticed that she sometimes hides things inside fruits. Therefore, Granny is an entity that lures or drags her victims into the isolated houses she occupies and toys around with them before killing them. The third installment is an exception as the victim walks into the house herself. And so. We'll get back to that later. A dismantled vehicle and shotgun can be found. It's okay, you're making a mistake. I grab your at the war on it, or good job. In the house, which many believe to have belonged to this victim. But in my opinion, it's Granny's car. As the victim's car broke down, maybe due to Granny placing a trap and intentionally ambushing the victim. Ooh. Either way, the victim's car wouldn't be able to drive to Granny's location. And Granny has to somehow get to the location she ambushes her victims, which is possibly by using her car. She also places puzzles around the house, 
dismantling the car on purpose to torment her victims and give them a sense of hope so she can toy around with them. After fixing the car, we realize that the garage's door is barricaded. Therefore, proving that the car was not dismantled by accident. But in fact, the granny did it intentionally to play around with her victims. After completing the game, Granny is seen on the porch having the teddy bear next to her, while Slenderina appears behind her, suggesting that both Slenderina and Granny presumably work together in tormenting these victims, who might be abusers of women, while Granny messes her granddaughter Slenderina. The player in Granny 1 is probably assisted by Slenderina after he shows to be not a bad man, at least to Slenderina's eyes, as he places the teddy bear in the crib, showing he respects Slenderina and her child. A lot of you guys have been talking about it in the uh, different games. Now let's move on to the second game. In the second installment, many more characters and creatures get introduced. Instead of one, we now have two antagonists, Grandma alongside Granny. Grandma has a crowbar and occasionally likes to take naps. But unlike this mortal habit, he's also immune to bullets and presumably death. His origin is a bit ambiguous, but just like Granny, he seems to be a vengeful entity after blood. Inspecting the house, we can find a coffin which belongs to Slenderina's husband. Oh my. A vampire who is also known as Liev. We learn he is Slenderina's husband in a picture of him standing next to Slenderina and their child. A grotesque child, badly deformed into the shape of a spider. Not long after, we can find this child in a cell, who is very vicious. After killing or injuring it, Ooh. the ghost of Slenderina shows up, screeching, having angry red eyes. A sign that the player might have been brought to the house, similarly to the previous victims, being thought to be an abuser of women. Hence why Slenderina specifically becomes angrier after her child is attacked by this man. Another big change in the game is the house. Instead of the previous house, this place now seems to be close to sewers. In the water, we find a monstrous octopus which can eat the protagonist. Ugh. On many nodes scattered around, we learn that this monster is bred and raised by Granny and Grandpa. Maybe as a pet, or maybe as a guard to prevent the victims from escaping. In one of the endings, we can see Granny sitting inside a car, which fortifies the theory earlier in Granny 1 that Granny drives around and ambushes their victims, then drives them back with her car, placing them in their rooms. In the third installment, the house is yet again in an entirely different place, having remote controlled gates, cameras, and even a collapsible bridge, making it extremely difficult for the victims to escape. It seems as if Granny, still accompanied by Grandpa, keep on changing their location not to be exposed to getting caught or found out. They also always improve their security, preventing the victims from escaping, and always choose isolated places to make it ideal for toying around with their victims and prevent any outside interference. This time, unlike the previous two games, the victim walks into the house himself and then gets shot by Grandpa and taken to a cell. Ooh. This proves that Grandpa and Granny are sadistic, and the theory that suggests that they only ambush bad men is just an excuse for them to torture them. It's possible instead of ambushing this man, the man had some sort of problem presumably having his car broken down and found the nearest place to ask for help, ending up in Granny's new house. Yet again, 
If the victim finds a teddy bear here and places it in the crib, Slenderina leaves the victim alone and helps him with escaping, leaving a key behind. Throughout the game, Slenderina hunts and scares the victim, helping Danny to catch him. But if the victim proves not to be a bad man, Slenderina helps him. In conclusion, all of the entities within the game have supernatural origins. Granny oh. and Grandpa have more tangible presence, while Slenderina is a ghost. Granny and Grandpa are quite intelligent and have good hearing, as they place intricate puzzles around the house and toy around with their victims, despite looking like zombies. They have immunity to bullets, but still can be stunned and knocked out for a short while. Meanwhile, Slenderina is a ghost, but she is more reasonable as when the victims place the teddy bear in the crib, she leaves them alone, thinking they might be good men. Therefore, Granny and Grandpa must suffer from some sort of mental problems and could be quite sadistic. Yeah, as it possibly ran down I agree. to her child, Angeline who seems to have mental disorders and depression, which leads her to kill her family by poisoning them, including Slenderina. Granny, who possibly has mental disorders herself, shackled Angeline and let her die. It's clear that this entire family benefits from supernatural abilities, however, as the diary of Slenderina was written in 1800s, making Granny very old, who still roams on the earth, con considering the third game possibly taking place in early 2000s, uh. at least, as cameras and monitors are used. So, how do you use some modern technology in the game? Why? And why how they use a gun? Granny is a huge game which can have several different interpretations until some canon backstory is brought to light. If you enjoyed this video, keep tuned by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for more horror related co content. I'm intending to make some more videos about Granny exploring here and her family's origins in more depth. Yeah. <laughs> it's been your host star. Till the next video. Have a fantastic day. Okay, guys, I think that's it for this. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, it been a little... Wow, if you're guys a fan of the horror game, so... We'll see you all the end needs. What he going to talk about it? Come on. <laughs> Sorry I've been like blowing like that. You know I'd talk about it. Okay.
I already tagged on the mix, sir. Hold on, let me grab my water bottle. All right. One, two, and we uh Granny all in these. Granny is a supernatural entity who has been a. Sorry, it's so lonely. Hold on. Life for a very long time, holding a specific. The grudge which leads her to punish her victims for presumable Ooh. wrongdoings. Hi folks, I'm R, your narrator. This video will contain spoilers about Slenderman, Slenderina, and the Granny series. With that said, let's begin. That's why he said it. In my videos, I always say spoiler war ahead and our favorite night we are talking about all these video games, the scary ones, are he only says spoiler. But he do a very good job. And. I have already explained Granny 3 2 and 1 in depth in a previous video, which you can watch by hitting the card above. If you have already done so, you can skip to the time indicated for endings explained. Granny has supernatural powers, making her immune to death, as no matter what method the protagonist uses, she wakes back up after a few minutes. In traditional folklore and legends, an entity called the White Lady is described as a powerful malevolent entity lures or brings men to her house and punishes them severely before killing them. These men are usually people who have mistreated or abused women in their life. This entity used to be an abused woman herself who could have died in the hands of her abuser, whom then resurrects as a vengeful spirit. Fueled by anger and revenge against those men who have abused women. Therefore, Granny seeks justice for those whom have been denied. Although this folklore bears close resemblance to Granny's so that backstory, there are some inconsistencies. As we don't know whether Granny was in fact abused or not, how she died, and how she selects her victims. The first game starts with the current victim waking up in a room in Granny's house, who finds writings and notes left behind from the previous victim of Granny. The protagonist learns that Granny likes to toy around with her victims, placing puzzles around the house, giving them five days of mental torture to solve them while having some hope of freedom, which allows Granny to fully break them physically and mentally before killing them. That is exactly what we find in a previous message left behind from the previous victim. The victim informs us how there are puzzles left around the house, which could eventually lead to freedom. But as they pass, the victim gives up, as every time he gets it's cut by granny, he gets hit by a bat, or taken back to the room. Exploring the house a bit more, this victim proves to be much more resilient than the previous one. As he uncovers mysteries, he wasn't supposed to. He learns about granny's daughter, who was shackled to death, and granny's granddaughter, Slenderina, 
who roams around as a ghost and presumably seeks her baby. I will so how did they get there? I will not dive deep in their stories as I have already explained it in the previous video. After finding a teddy bear the victim was not supposed to find, Granny becomes furious as seen by her glowing red eyes. Placing this teddy bear in a baby crib, the ghost of Slenderina shows up, assisting the victim to escape the house. So, Housey, Housey helped the, the main character that we play as to escape. She is a villain in her own game, like, hold on, dirt ad, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's my question, why is he help? I don't know. There are three main endings, with the fourth one having a slight variation. The first two include Granny standing in front of the door in awe as the victim makes his escape. The third one includes the granny waiting behind the victim, baffled, as the victim uses the assembled car and makes his escape. All these three don't tell much about granny and her backstory, other than that she is mentally tormented and likes to toy around with her victims. See, like the final one, however, informs us a lot more about what she goes through mentally. In the fourth ending, we see granny sitting on the porch stroking the teddy bear while the ghost of slenderina shows up behind her one thing we don't know for sure is whether slenderina actually helps granny in capturing and torturing her victims and if they together plan the victim's demise or whether granny is unaware of slenderina's ghostly presence it is clear that slenderina's soul is latched to the teddy bear and she cares immensely about it. As she is present, wherever the teddy bear is, it is in canon whether this teddy bear belongs to Slenderina herself I'm... or her baby. But the theory that that is to follow works with either. I think it's a family- Granny seems to be a loving grandmother who cared very much about Slenderina. Slenderina has her own series and backstory, including her parents, husband, and child, which we will touch on briefly. We learn that Slenderina... Okay, I believe it's a family to miss it. Including her parents died in 1892 when her mother poisoned Slenderina and Slenderman. It's not clear if the mother also ate the poisoned food herself or not. But either way, she gets shackled by Granny as a form of punishment for killing Slenderina. It's clear that, that Granny cares about Slenderina very much as she strokes the teddy bear at the end as if she is reminiscing on her memories of Slenderina. Slenderina appears behind her with Granny not reacting, which could insinuate that Granny is not aware, or at least all the time, of Slenderina's presence. Granny herself seems to have not somehow died or at least had been affected by supernatural, making her immune to death and cutting her ties with a normal world, making her a vengeful entity, capturing and tormenting men, presumably. Wow. <laughs> I am like 
you know what? My goodness. In Granny Chapter 2, yet another victim wakes up in a room of a new house from the previous one. Granny is accompanied by another vengeful entity who, who goes by the name of Grandpa. Grandpa wields a crowbar instead of a bat, which Granny has. Now they both hunt down the victims and torment them. As usual, puzzles are spread around for the victims to have a false sense of hope. It also seems that Granny changes her locations every time after the victims escape, maybe to evade being caught by authorities so they can carry on tormenting people. In the second house, the victim finds a cage with a deformed child looking like a spider. The spider child eats meat presumably flesh of granny's victims so i believe this child is um survive i don't know he's still there because you know an uncooked meat whom we later find out to somehow relate to slenderina it's mm -hmm. not very clear if this child is Created by Slenderina or born naturally. But it seems as if this child was somehow created by Slenderina and her vampire husband to possibly fill the void of Slenderina's late child. It is possible that Slenderina is inspired by yet another folklore entity who is also called the white lady who lost her child whether in childbirth or after birth and then ended her life in sorrow she then resurrects as a vengeful spirit looking for her child hunting and killing anyone in her way Slenderina might have created this child after the loss of her real child to fill the void. Either way, A, harming the spider child in Granny 2 makes Slenderina to appear with glowing red eyes. Don't mess there is with also her. A monstrous octopus that Granny and Grandpa are breeding. This monster is presumably used as means to guard the boat and prevent the victims from escaping. Yeah, don't mess on any of uh, the characters in this game. In Granny 2, there are three main endings, two of which show how well prepared Granny and Grandpa are. We can find a helicopter and a boat which are both very functional. It's a little baffling how Grandpa and Granny got their hands on a helicopter, if not completely random, and for the sake of gameplay, it suggests that Granny and Grandpa are very influential. It's possible that they possibly just invaded someone's house who probably were very stable financially, as they have CCTVs, a helicopter, and a boat. Granny and Grandpa possibly killed them in the process, taking their house to lure more victims in and kill. But if Granny and Grandpa procured these items, 
then it's possible that they have some sort of connection with other people who provided them with these items. In another ending, we see Granny sitting inside a car, which is suggestive of how she ambushes and captures her new victims, as suggested by the message left by a victim in Granny 1, we can conclude that Granny ambushes her victims who are usually driving alone at night. She somehow places a trap to make their cars break down and then hits them with a bat and takes them to her car and drives them to her new locations, which she changes frequently. The story of Grandpa is a little convoluted as how he fits in the story with Slenderina and Granny. Granny is concluded to have been possibly a victim of abuse herself and possibly died or obtained her supernatural powers like that. This made her to live for a very long time and be immune to death. She resurrects as a vengeful entity and in theory punishes men who have presumably missed treated an abused woman in the first game she was alone and the theory made sense she also cared about slenderina and held her teddy bear dear to herself which fortifies the theory that she cared about woman but how does grandpa fit in this theory and where was he in granny one if granny was indeed abused by a man it's possible the perpetrator was her husband therefore or it's possible that grandpa is not actually granny's husband but is a random person maybe granny's brother who also was resurrected by granny in order to follow her cause it's also possible that granny killed her husband or whoever abused her and resurrected them as a mindless slave to follow her cause it gets a little twisted adding grandpa to the mix, but I would also love to hear your take on this theory. Well, it's our opinion uh, by our own the reset. By it's our choice. Just enjoy eating my candy, but hey, so it has a lot of joy. Granny 3, the protagonist, unlike the first two, walks into the new house of Granny by himself. He notices the camera at the gate and the collapsible bridge. He ignores them and tries to enter the house, while at the door, he gets shot by Grandpa. Then he's taken to the cellar inside a cell. In there, the protagonist finds a skeleton, presumably of a previous victim and decides to find a way to escape. This proves that Granny and Grandpa are not just after justice against abusive men anymore. Maybe after years of punishment, they became accustomed to their ways and enjoy tormenting and killing people. This is even further fortified as when the victim in Granny 1 returns the teddy bear to the crib and Slenderina decides to help him, Granny doesn't care and wants to torment the man. In Granny 3, the protagonist gets hunted by the ghost of Slenderina, hmm? you know, who only stops after the protagonist returns the teddy bear at the crib again, just like Granny 1. Mm -hmm. There's only one main ending in Granny 3. 
free by the time this video is made. When the protagonist manages to escape the premises, Granny and Grandpa stay outside of the the house, looking around while the ghost of Slender Rina appears from their behind. This ending is not suggestive of anything in particular, except for Granny and Grandpa thinking of moving out to a new location again. And as this location became compromised, although a specific death ending is very interesting. When Granny places the victim inside the car and places a T and T there, while Grandpa and Granny stay near the car, while it explodes and hurts all three of them. Knowing that Granny and Grandpa are immune to death, it makes it difficult to believe that this TNT will permanently kill Grandpa and, and Granny. However, why would they hurt themselves on purpose? Is there a heading meaning behind that? It can't be only for fun for Granny and Grandpa hurting themselves on purpose. Maybe it's a way for them to try and kill themselves. Maybe after all these years of tormenting and killing victims, who they have lost count of, and not sure whether they're guilty or not, they have enough maybe granny and grandpa do not want to live any longer suffering the never yeah why ending fate they have to withstand taking the role of villains tormenting unsuspecting victims mm-hmm Maybe whatever conscience is left in Granny and Grandpa, they realize that they are reincarnated as vengeful entities, forever doomed to punish people, never being able to die and finally rest. Let me know what are your thoughts about their backstory and this ending. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can stay tuned for the latest horror related videos by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your host, Dar. Till the next video, have a fantastic day. Okay, that's uh, my well, that's it, and watching the video, and while I busy my candy and while drinking water. We never stay hydrated. Well, I might say um, this new year. Or you do an awesome job. You know, I just enjoy watching it, listening what you said. And sorry, you know, add the video blowing as well. I might say, um, enjoy it, and grab a snack and something, and drink a water while you watch it. So I lose the money night night, okay? Was Bethesda and so. And once again, thank you.